Welcome to Linux Overdose, episode 23, part 2. Today is June the 28th, 2016, and it's just a continuance of um, Zorin, a 9.164 bit. And it's actually using GNOME 3, even though they call it Zorin. So it's GNOME 3 using their um, Zorin themes. So, but it's actually GNOME 3. So, uh, <clears throat> already upload the, the, how to install it. And um, I just uh, fix how to get the screen big. And uh, just just did some minor changes, and I'll show you what what I done. Also show you how I did the um, add the guest edition in the virtual box. So we'll go ahead and get the virtual box fired up. Zorin, we just go ahead and start. This is the, you know, like GNOME, I, I mean like uh, Grub, the menu. It's booting up in Zorin. And you had all those other choices before it boots up in Zorin. And right here it is. Now you notice, uh, I'll show you how I got the screen bit, but you notice when I went to the menu, and start clicking on stuff I couldn't find the how to get back what well, was the uh, you know uh, smaller resolution or whatever and um, uh, but right here it is back so anytime I click on anything I can get out of it with this back button that's what I was looking for um, when I um, was doing it in, in that you know tiny screen that we had so uh so there is a back button uh, that's what I was really concerned of so uh but how I got this um big is um you go under device and then uh, it'll say install on here um guest edition c d image so I went ahead and install it and then it also got mounted. And then, uh, and then I ask you to run, and then I run it, but it, it didn't actually run the the application that need to. Um, at least it didn't for me. So, um, um, but I did press run, and it did not work correctly for me. And um, so, uh, I actually want to run the script that's on this CD. If I click on it. Right here's the script I want to run. This virtual box Linux edition dot run. Now when I right click, I didn't had to run in terminal. Of course I I do now. Open in terminal. Um, I had to add this in, but uh, it that wasn't there, so I couldn't figure out how to. Well, first I didn't know um, you know where the location was here. You can see it in desktop, so I figured that's where I had to go. Is um, CD desktop? Now I, I I'm used to doing with the slash, but if you're in the let's see, let's, let's go list first, see where I'm at. But I actually can go CD desktop and then a list and there's nothing here so these icons and st uh, that you see and stuff there's not even here and, and of course I thought maybe they were hidden but you know there's nothing hidden there so so I said well, where is this app but it's actually uh, go to your root and uh, it's actually in um, media so I go to the media and then go to the gym crack 
and this again and this is actually a uh, I think you can highlight that type it so CD paste um, let's see Okay, I'm 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 already here. All right, and then right here's the the program I want to run, and uh, luckily sudo is installed. So sudo, and then you can type it in, or you can uh, highlight it, copy, and then I, I press uh, actually a sudo sh, which run shell space. And then you um, paste this in. I don't think it'll run it. And then you press enter. And then it will run the program. You reboot. And then it successfully install um, this big. So that's what I had to do to install and run this VirtualBox Linux there. So first you um, install it. You can click run, but I said it was successful. Open up your terminal, uh, navigate to uh, media, your username, um, the, the virtual box edition folder, and then you run this uh, virtual box Linux edition dot run. And how you do that was, um, let's see, where's the... But it's a uh, uh, sudo space sh space and then uh, remember it's uh, case sensitive so capital V capital B I mean V capital B O X capital L uh, Linux capital A additions dot run run it um, reboot you can. Uh, and then you're successful and then you can just unmount this and, and just forget about it so that's how I did that all right now to uh, get the the terminal first I uh, we're using files which is um, let me see let's open up the browser here And um, I download this uh, action, but it was that actually dash um, system tools, I believe it was. And I was reading about this, how to add stuff to the menu. Um, but I actually didn't, I was confused when I opened it up. I couldn't figure it out. And I don't think that was the right web page to to figure it out but I'll open it up for you um, right here it is action configuration tools and this is it and you can add stuff to your menu and stuff um, there's a help menu it's a little confusing I, I went to a web I used this before and it's actually pretty easy after you read the how to use it basically I had a real good website to use this so this is a handy too I'm gonna to keep it and and learn how to use it to make my menu much larger but this ain't how I install the terminal in in the the menu um, what I did is went to synaptic package manager which is here put in your password then I search um, now I forget the name of it yeah which is what in let's see do I got a history open it up again here Go to bookmarks. Yeah, 
you know, highlight this. This is what our um, file manager is, which they call files. And why is that? That's just, to me, that's just confusing. All right, paste this, search, and then you, when you see there's the action thing that I installed. Um, but what I really installed was this, open terminal. It, it, it adds to my right click. So that's what I actually install to get my uh, terminal in the file manager. And it's just a lot easier because I had to navigate last time. And this time I can just right click, open the terminal, and then I can run, uh, you know, my uh, my terminal opens up right here. I don't have to navigate to say there was a program here to run. Then I just run it. So um, always like that in my menu. That way when I navigate here and I say, oh, I need a terminal. Still open up the terminal and navigate to it. Just right click it and then right there is my terminal to the right location. I need to be no navigation. So, so to me that's very, very handy. So that's a... A must for me so I uh, I got that figured out and um, only other change I did which was in the browser is the home key um, I believe I just right click in the empty space hit customs and then this stuff you can just drag and drop and there was home here because home ain't there by default and then I just dragged it place it where I want it and that was it so that's how um, but I didn't change no uh, default start page or nothing like that so um, it's it's okay um, I, I got the basic stuff that I wanted of course I would have to navigate this a lot to know where everything is here's my system tools so right here is all my system tools, um, uh, details. If you hit, hit details, you can. Uh, this is where I found the install updates. I'm sure it would showed up here, but uh, you can update it from from details under system settings, and I believe there's a place in here, probably under system tools, administration. Yeah, software update. You can click on that to update, but the system's already updated. So that's two locations. If it, if you don't get the automatic notification, or you just want to just make sure it's updated. So that's that. And then you know, right here's all the defaults. Um, our disk space and. Um, Got games which ain't very many, and graphics. GIMP is usually there, and we got Liberal Office, but it looks like just draw. We don't have the writer. Well, um, they're not together, I guess. Oh yeah, right here's Office. So we got all the Office applications. And then sound. Um, we got cheese, which usually is never default. This is you. Um, if you're using um. Well, they're using this as the X um, um, burners, which is all right. Open shot, which I do like. Open shot rhythm box is okay, but I prefer Clementine. So I don't know what they're using for videos. Well, they just call videos. Oh, uh, uh, toot them. So, ah. Eh. I'd rather have VLC or or uh, MPV, so I would install something like that, you know, through the Synaptic Package Manager. And here's some preferences, add drivers. Definitely want that, um, especially if you got on a hard drive. I got in a virtual box, so I ain't worry about it to update any drivers. So in your system settings, you know, all the stuff that you need to uh, check 
and change any preferences and um, so it, it's uh, okay it got wine which is unusual it even got play on Linux and wine tricks so and um, and I'm real good at wine so I don't know how good it's in VirtualBox I always play it on hard drive I don't have it installed so I might do an episode of uh, wine and I might do it through um, um, this um, Linux distro the um, uh, one I'm on which is uh, Debian of course there's a Zorin in the virtual box so um, I guess that's it um, so my next episode will be uh, um, I might do another distro um, that black arch I ran across it and it looked pretty good like so I don't know how if it has a graphical black arch Let's see yeah this right here it's called black arch Linux and uh, um, it, it looks awesome and it might have a graphical installment if it does uh, and um, really like it I might um, install this instead just uh, vanilla arch so I definitely want to check this out and see how well I like it. This is the first time I heard it. And I don't know if it's listed in um, um, Linux distro or not. And I don't know how long it's been out, but I definitely will try that. So we, uh, this might be my next episode installing, installing this. So, so that's something to look into. So hopefully I got you going to... Um, that guest edition. I think you only have to install it once. Um, if if you leave the main host one on on your VirtualBox, or you notice I, I deleted one, so I lose my uh, guest edition. That means I have to reinstall it, which is not a um, pain. I, I already done it a few times, so it's it's not hard to do. So so I got that. I got the right click in the file manager. Um, and it seems um, pretty stable. I haven't checked out the changed appearances or anything like that, but um, it's okay. Go ahead and shut down. And there we go, it's gone. So, close this, and I guess I'll end this um, episode in the uh, the um, next one will be uh, episode 24, and it'll be um, um, the Black Arch. Well, we'll try that, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.